Can you see or hear? I don't know. I have a technical problem. I have a technical problem. Block TV mic. I need to mute that. Okay. Okay. Now you. I cannot see myself here. That's my problem. You know, my mini cams actually epic fail. <laughs> Oops. Dude. I'm gonna restart it. This. Alright, but. Can you give me a second if you can? Can you hear me? Okay, if you can hear me, I need to restart this thing. Give me a minute, okay? Uh, but, you know, the video, that's where it's stuck. Okay, now I think you can see me. Okay, guys, girls, you know, now I think you can see me. Okay, this is uh, kind of lagging for big time for me. You can see you, you see? Now you can see my big face. Uh, I cannot hear myself. Uh, only thing I can hear is myself. Anyway, any echoes or anything? Hello, Digi Road and everybody here. Uh, welcome to the show. I have a little announcement to make. You know, if anybody contributes during my time, they'll get my book, you know, which is this. Uh, for free you know I will send it to you like what I did last time I will send it to you and another promise I have is okay my ebooks are coming out anybody contributes the uh, during this time they will get the free ebook update too okay there is a ebook coming out in about a month uh, so that will also be coming free for you so that's my offer that ebook and my book during if you contribute even one dollar you know in my in my time I will give it to you. Uh, so what do I have here? Okay, first of all, let me tell you. Um, last year, one year, you know, I have been, you know, connected to many of these people who are around here. In uh, I'm, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Then I was in between around uh, Europe for some time. Um, so all these times, you know, I have encountered many people who had been going through this cancer problem. Uh, and I always used to say, you know, that is for life. Uh, and it's been... It's been a terrific year, uh, many good things happening, many bad things happening. Um, if I tell, you know, for the last couple of years uh, since I've been with uh, uh, Artists for Life, you know, it's been, it's been terrific. Um, I have, I'm going to actually present three poems, you know, in the 15 minutes only I took because I know I'm already in three minutes right now. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I'm going to try to present three poems. One poem, which is uh, something which I wrote last year, which is, uh, which I understood through this process of trying to deal with this uh, people who are suffering. Uh, it's just not cancer. Whoever is having a situation of suffering, I tried like I am, you know, or Yen, you know, whichever way you call it, Christian. He said earlier he would like to go and spend all the money and be there uh, with a person and play the music and try to calm a person. Uh, that's what I try to do. You know, I try to be there with the person holding that person's hands and be there making them feel that they are not alone or they are suffering. Uh, the main problem with suffering is, you know, when you feel alienated and when you love somebody and that loving person, when you see that person also taking that pain, uh, you know, that is pretty hard for a person. So many, many of the people who undergo this problem, they try to, uh, to, to, actually go inside of themselves to try to find some balance somewhere. So that's when I wrote a poem, a poem, even though I tried to generalize it as much as possible called Balance of Life. Uh, I read it a couple of times, uh, uh, not in my show. I don't remember reading that poem much in my show. I think I recorded once, but I haven't read it much. But in real, I have read it to some people and, you know, they said, okay, yeah, you know, that means something, you know, when you find that balance, because uh, when you find, uh, you know, many people are not spiritual, many people are not, um, you know, material, you know, some people are too spiritual. Uh, so they say everything is bad in material life. Unless you find a balance, this is all wrong. So that's the first poem I'm trying to bring out here. I believe you'll be able to read it along with me. And that's what I was trying to do with Minicam. 
uh, I'm going to try to read it as slow as possible. If you cannot read it, uh, you know, in this, I'm trying to move this uh, Artist for Life logo. <laughs> you know, it is right on top of it. So there it is. I'm going to bring this as good as possible. Okay. Give me a second. I have three different poems which I actually try to bring. One is this. This is a little longer. This is the second one I'm going to read. But the first one is going to be given to Artists for Life. They can use it in any way they want for their promotion or demotion, whatever they want to do with it. They can do that. Um, this idea was actually taught to me by Mr. Dolivery. And special thanks to him for doing, you know, teaching me this. So I have three poems here. This is the poem I'm going to read. I believe you all can read along uh, with me. If you cannot, then please listen to me. This you know, poem is called uh, Balance of Life. Emptiness through the vastness of space felt, though empty not any of those spaces at all. Gladness through mind past when known, empty mind is not as divine love filled in slowly. Night for air gasping I felt, taking day from the clutches of sun, taking day from the clutches of, uh, taking day from the clutches of sun. Dahlia stood staring at the dented moon rising and in emptiness of darkness, millions of stars bloom. Space is a creation like you and I, time another creation within that space bound. What I understand not is why within time we limit with practices unhealthy to destroy oneself and others. Oh, within the material world hidden, the power of the divine that flows all, dark flow or dark matter, whatever science may call, the force of divine, love in it, all I feel. Adapted, I adapt not, I evolve not, as the nature in my senses I feel. Oh, an illusion, many in respect bow, ah, the wonderful are the wonderful because of you and I. So in care of the wonderful truth of divine, one should feel. If the spiritual life one knows not, and in material life one buries, lose it all like a castle of cards, as without foundation all will fail. If the material life for only spiritual life one leaves, oh, none of the blessing the divine gave us, one will feel. When the balance of life, one in life loses, oh, to survive the life, stimulants one chases, some in art, some in music, some dances, many to the dark world of intoxication falls. Lose not the balance of life from within, lose not the truth from within, as in truth, life is simple in beauty of the smiles we exchange. Okay, thank you. You know, that person need to just send me the details. Uh, email me at uh, you know can you you know just just PM me you know uh, I will I will you know see, uh, give you you may have to give me your address my book will be given to them okay my book will be given to them and I will make sure my uh, ebook also will be this book anybody who gives okay um, sir Ian got the book you know he got the book if you go to my page you can see him holding the book. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, and he bought the book. I did not give it to him. He bought the book. So, <laughs> thank you. Uh, see, so, what, that's, that's one of the things I'm saying. Now I'm going to actually read another poem. This poem is, uh, you know, my typical style poem, which is, uh, uh, 
I'm going to actually try to entertain you, you know, with, with whatever remaining time I have. Um, I thought I may actually, you know, there's, there's this girl called Paige uh, online, I know. She's a very little girl. I, you know, I'm in community. I think I posted your show and everything there. Uh, but right now, my computer is completely frozen. I will not be able to do anything right now. Uh, I have an old computer, and I'm sitting with that old computer in a place which is quite warm. You know, it's very hot here. Uh, my air conditioner, you know, if I turn it on, you know, it is going to be so noisy. The static and everything will be too bad. We won't be able to hear anything. Uh, so all the people you know who are here, please, everybody, go and donate. You know, even the simplest form of uh, you know money. You know, right now what we need is that figure. You know, we need to reach the figure and more. So maybe you know you may not be able to donate you know thousands of dollars, but you know you may be able to donate five dollars or ten dollars. Please go ahead and do that. And my book, of course, you know if you check in Amazon.com, it is about twenty-seven dollars. And I am giving this for free. If you, and I'm not even asking shipping or handling anything, I'm going to do everything necessary to do it. So I'm going to actually send it to you for free. So please let me know once you have donated, you know, please let Ian know, uh, or Ian, you know, my friend, I have a friend called Ian. Uh, Ian know what is your, uh, how to communicate with me. He will tell you the email address. Uh, through which you know you can send me last year that's for angel writer you know, they all got the book for free um, uh, we are here okay um, now I'm going to read another poem there are two more poems which I'm going to read I believe I am already at the 11th minute uh, I believe I have time to read two more poems uh, the next poem is a little longer poem uh, so it may take about four or five minutes to read it uh, but this poem I wrote this basically to tell a person, uh, actually one of my friends was about to propose to his uh, girl um, and how he should do it. Uh, and he asked me some words. I said, I cannot write a word, but you know, I can give you ideas to do it. So what we planned was, okay, he took his uh, <laughs> girl all the way to the top of a mountain, okay, top of a mountain, uh, this was in Europe, and, uh, and I, I told him to do something. And I gave him some words. But based on all this experience he had, I wrote a poem called, this poem is called The Acceptance of a Proposal. So, uh, Digi Road, I know you love my poem. And Digi Road, uh, you are the greatest inspiration, you know, I, you know, I always had, you know, I listen to your music. I come to your, you know, page and listen to your music, you know, you, you know, and, and it is pretty good. And now I know you have a CD and I would love to buy it. Instead of getting it for free by donating $10, I would love to buy that CD and I'm going to buy that CD. You need to send me a link, okay? You need to send me a link. So, here you go. The next poem I'm going to present is called The Acceptance of a Proposal. I believe you will be able to read these poems. Uh, along with me because this is quite small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of the font so, you know usually I do that I forgot to actually increase the size of the fonts uh, and and uh, the problem was uh, it is black okay that, I think that will do it that will enable you to read the whole poem so I'm going to actually give you the poem you know I am uh, Yan or Christian you know, whoever is you are I'm going to give the poem to you once I finish this. Okay, here we go. I think this time you will be able to read the poem. This is what I forgot earlier. Uh, the name of the poem, as you may see, it's called The Acceptance of a Proposal. Okay, this is a little, should go again. The golden lights beyond the hills, they raise giant boulders smiling demon stood. through the valley he took her high for her queries to where they were going elusive excuses to her he tore the glider through the northern winds glided and upon the highest plane with her he landed in the thrill of flight and the magnificence of the scenery he she jumped and her wonderful gladness made him smile. He took her hands and for the first time with her he danced. Round and down through the grass, grassless plain they danced. The whole nature revolving around her, he made her feel. 
she held him tight and to him she told oh what a wonderful sight you show serene views and the singing birds and the nature around me dance sweetness on this day took a manly meaning in you and to you dear i owe the gladness you give he kissed her lips and pushed her aside and to the edge of the plain he walked then to her he turned and said bow i will not before anyone but god kneel i will not before any defeats life can give through the rough roads we both walked as season after season put our minds in betrayal of the feeling of love in permanent denial now that we know there exists nothing material between us as in material on the higher planes we stand or oh, the winds and golden rays blend the perfect feelings between the folds of our hearts he looked at her who smiled at what he said the golden light to fade away hesitated the wind from hill to hill jumped carrying the echo of his word and the vibration of her gladness then to a lower layer of rock he stepped as above the plain she stood breaking his own silence he said heights in our life we have seen in our tough times we fell apart and scattered ah uh, from there each other we gathered keeping you higher than i am here i stand for i will not bow like any tom dick or harry always at a higher plane than i am you i will keep oh save me and my love from the wrath of time and space my happiness as you i will define and your sorrows i promise in my love will wither will you take me as your honorable husband first away from she looked her smile by the wind stolen towards him she came and his eyes and in his eyes she looked and with a, an unsmiling face she said my dear my dearers the echo of your words all around i hear sweet they all are our and the poetry amazing your promise deep in my soul touched but my dear don't feel sorry for this warning i give life is no poetry you alone can write life is not just the loving of two wonderful souls life is the definition of each other we both should try in failure and success when together we stand the honor will be mine to stand with you and face and through cycles of time and space in each other's pain smile and love oh this day at this time upon this mountain to you i promise every honor a husband reserves upon you i will shower with my happiness in my happiness for your happiness when by the time her acceptance she finished stood near him and with glittering eyes she tell his face upon his lips again and again she kissed though a, di- a diamond ring he took ah uh, his happy tears in the golden lies brighter glowed then the golden lies to the bottom of mother nature faded but the love of those two glowed like million stars in each other's soul that guided them into future ways sorry yan sorry i ran off the cliff you know i took a lot of time so <laughs> <laughs> i took about uh, 15 5 minutes or 10 minutes extra thank you very much everybody you know who guideline and did you wrote delivery you know who all enjoyed the poem uh, i believe you know i took a little time extra so i'm sorry about that uh, 
Sir Lonely Poet. I'm not Sir. Sir Ian. Yes, yes, you know, Sir Ian is the other guy. You know, he's actually the. And he, there's there's a bit of a lag coming in. Uh, so that's uh, that's why you know I was not able to read it very you know fluently. Nightlight. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, it was it was written for uh, based on my friend. Uh, I didn't propose to anyone. <laughs> I am the lonely poet. Can you read that? I am the lonely poet. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Guy Lane. I understood, you know, but I was still saying, you know, Mr. You know, Sir Ian is doing uh, a great job. I mean, this is this is one of the greatest thing, you know, he does. I mean, he's he's a fantastic guy. I know him for a long time. You know, I have a lot of respect for him, so I call him Sir. I call him Sir. So he deserved to be called Sir. That's what I'm saying. You know, he's the one who get you know who who get that honor, uh, not me. I'm just a poet. You know, <laughs> I'm a simple person. Thank you, Will and uh, Jim Su, and uh, and everybody here. You know, please uh, you know donate as much as possible. Uh, Ian, I will be here tomorrow. Um, you know, supporting your show. I'll be here during the show all all the way to. Uh, so you can you know take me off, or if you want, I can read another poem. And if there is time, you know, but that's choice is yours. Because I already, I'm already at 21 minutes right now. Hello, Ricky. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all I have to say about the word, okay, Sapphire is actually sending me something. Mm -hmm. All I have to say is about what you just told is, I mean, oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, you know, um, it is not just uh, a specific, uh, you know, figure we are aiming at. It is the support. I mean, every day you encounter some people in pain or suffering. And uh, you should, of all the people, you should understand, you stand by those people, uh, you know, who are suffering. You know, it, it means a lot to them. You know, you may not even understand. When you when you hold, a, you know, a little kid's hand and say, you know, some words, you may think it's, they are small, silly words, you know, you are saying, but it means a lot. It kind of hits them really, really hard, whether it is good, bad, or, you know, raw, dirty, it doesn't matter. You know, when you hold that person's hands and say, I am with you, if, if you can just say, I am with you, that means a lot. That means a lot of things. Because recently, another person I have met is uh, Ashley, one, one, you know, she's, she's the mother of two kids, you know, she's going through a lot of trouble. Um, you know, her parents discarded her, you know, she's running around here and there with these two kids. And, uh, and I told her, you know, all these feelings you have in your, in your mind, you know, it should not be there. Say to yourself that my mind, my heart, you know, all these feelings you have inside of you, inside of me, it should not be there. Use it, use it as, to make me happy. Take all the resources, all the energy that needed to create that bad feeling and make me happy. And she said, it worked. You know, that's the immediate response. It worked and she, she it helped her. So it may be a simple thing. If you can online, when you're dealing with a person, it will be very difficult for you to do that holding a hand. So 